All right, we are in the semifinals of Grand Prix Salt Lake City, game three of the last match before the finals of this event. I'm Brian David Marshall. I'm here with Ben Swartz, and we're about to watch Tom Martell, the Grand Prix Indianapolis champion, playing against Michael Peterson. On, on, on Tom Martell's side of the table, we have Delver Spirits. You, you saw this deck in action in the hands of John Finkel and Yelga Virgushma at Pro Tour Dark Ascension. This deck's very similar, but Tom's playing. Michael Peterson, what's he playing? He's playing just a standard blue-white Delver deck. Invisible Stalker, a couple of equipment, no Gitaxian probe though. It looks som somewhat similar to the deck that Yuyo Watanabe right. won Kuala Lumpur with, Grand Prix Kuala Lumpur with last weekend. So yeah, there you get a look. Yuya Delver. Yeah, Yuya, Yuya Delver. Delver. You get a look at Michael Peterson, four Thought Scours, maxing out on those because of the synergy it has with Rune Chanter's Pike and Moreland Haunt, Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, Tom, wow. Tom Martell is four Gitaxian probe, four Ponder, four Vapor Snag, two Mana Leak, one Revoke, four Lingering Souls, one Gutshot. I mean, that's main. Obviously, we're going to the sideboard. One of the interesting cards that's in Tom's deck, which seems to be like it could be a real game breaker in uh, in the Delver on Delver matchup, is Vault of the Archangel. He's able to just like really put the game out of reach. You know, able to get let his uh, one one lingering uh, lingering souls tokens tussle with big creatures like Dungeon Geist, kill Geist of Saint Trav, yeah, uh, and gain life in the process. So. Uh, you know, we saw people bringing in timely reinforcements in this matchup. Uh, we've, you know, certainly seen them bringing in more dungeon guys. Uh, Dissipates have been all over the place. Looking at their sideboards here. Uh, so here we go, game three of the last game of the semifinals. Tom Martell on the draw this game. He won last game. He was the number one seed. He's won eleven straight standard matches this weekend to this point. Wow. And. Uh, Players considering keeping. Looks like Tom's going to take a mulligan. Michael's going to keep a seven card hand. So, who do you think's advantage in this matchup, Brian? I, I think to Tom's deck is. Uh, I think Tom's deck is favored. Okay. I mean, he, he was able to defeat a similar deck in the quarterfinals when he played against I have, Marcel I have, Zafra. I, have, I bring you a tale of heartbreak from Twitter. What happened? So, Caleb Durward. Yeah. Two uh, Grand Prix top eights, no qualification. Week before his first Grand Prix top eight, he lost in the finals of a PTQ. Well, he just lost in the finals of another PTQ. Ooh. He lost in the finals of the Rock of the Rockville PTQ yesterday. Jeez, I'm sorry. Unless that's Caleb. an April Fool's joke. That would, that would be a sick. <laughs> if he actually won, that would be a sick <laughs> April Fool's joke. <laughs> Can't always believe what you read on Twitter. I know John Finkel this morning posted that he's going to devote his life to magic. After Pro Tour, Avison restored. All right, six new cards for Tom Martell. That was an April Fool's joke for everybody out there. He's 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 got a successful job. Let's take a look at these six cards for Tom Martell. Third game of the semifinals here. Is this one good? That yes. Looks good. Turn one. <laughs> Delver of Secrets. <laughs> Is that an altered checklist card? I think so. Oh, well, not that much altered. <laughs> I was considering getting checklist cards altered to have them painted like Delver's Secrets, except yeah, for that one block. That yeah, that would be kind of sweet. I was just thinking the same player, thing. Turn, turn one ponder to for Tom Martell. He's looking at a couple of lands. I think he's going to shuffle these guys away. Just double check, consult with his hand. And let's see. What does he want? He's going to do a little reordering again on the table. Hiding it again from us. I guess that last card was not a land, so two lands and a spell. Is he going to keep this? Yes. Put those guys on top. What do you draw, Tom? Evolving Wilds, okay. Passes the turn to Michael. Michael untaps, checks. That's not going to do it, Island. Get in for one, drop Tom down to 19. And he's going to play a turn to Invisible Stalker. Tom draws this card he wants from Ponder. I believe it's a spell. Oh no, it's a swamp, okay. Plays Evolving Wilds. Holding Vapor Snag back, I think, if Delver happens to transform. 
Tom's playing more of like a control role here. But yeah, he's not even going to wait. Yeah, he doesn't want to let Michael have the opportunity to mana leak that Vapor Snag. So return Delver to his hand. Pass the turn back. Likely going to sacrifice Evolving Wilds to shuffle away that third land on the top of his deck. Start things up for him. Thought Scour for Michael. Targeting himself. He's going to mill Vapor Snag an Island. Go ahead and draw Snapcaster Mage. Get him Just the one. way they drew it up in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Play Delver again. Is he passing the turn back with no third land? Sure looks like it. Yeah. Michael has uh, no white mana sources. Does have a Rune Chanter's Pike, so that Invisible Stalker could start to get out of hand. Players in standard win but it's likely 18. that Your event is about to start. Please come up to the Tom has uh, revoked existence in a Viner Offering for any appointment shenanigans 18. that Michael could have. So Tom, cracking that Evolving Wilds. Let's see which land he chooses to get. Probably a uh, Plains or an Island, I'd say. There we go, an Island. I'm not sure. I know it's one of the promotional islands on Magic the Gathering online that he gave away. I think that's the uh, Euro, Euro Islands. Um, uh, Eric Klug uh, of Klug Alters has pointed out to us that it's possible that we could arrange something for a checklist card to be altered to look like a Delver of Secrets. I would like that. <laughs> uh, a playset, maybe. Just in time for PTQ season. Tom Martell untaps. Picks up a new card. Card he hasn't seen. Divine Offering. Tom really wants like a lingering souls here. That would be really good. To I mean, isn't that what he's just thinking almost every time he draws a card with this deck? Isn't that what he's been thinking for the past you know month and a half? Yeah. Every single deck he's played. That's true. Uh, lingering, lingering souls, souls was, like, you know, to the surprise of a lot of people, at the center of his Indianapolis deck. Yeah. So Snapcaster Mage. Go get. He gets the Ponder instead of the uh, Vapor Snag. Vapor Snag. Sees a couple of Delvers and another card. Tom, again, taking his time here to make sure he does not make an error. Maybe one of the reasons why I got two unintentional draws in the Swiss of this tournament. Standard 18, your event is about to start. I mean, it paid start. off. He didn't lose a match. Standard 18, your event is about to start. I mean, it really is the hard way, too. Yeah. Uh, one, one of the big deals uh, going into that last round, Tom could have drawn in the final round of the Swiss. He chose to play uh, against uh, Tyler Hickox because, I don't, honestly, he wanted to be able to be on the play throughout the top eight. I mean, it was no, no it was, risk for him. There was no risk for him. He was guaranteed to be in no matter what. So might as well battle his way to win the coin flip in every match. Looks like Tom draws a, a Delver of Secrets yep. off that ponder. Gutshot will take out Snapcaster Mage. Opening up Michael Pearson to deal a bunch of damage if Delver transforms, and boom, Mana Leak transforms Delver of Secrets. And Tom goes to 14. Did you see that uh, Michael keeps his Delvers in clear sleeves, so easy to flip over? Sure. Physical flip over. <laughs> so a pair of Delvers Mary now Tom Jacobson, has. Of I didn't get a good look at that ponder. I wonder if the set, the last card deep is an instant or sorcery. But Tom goes ahead, plays one Delver. Plays a second Delver. I mean, Michael's still bottlenecked here on two Ryan lands. Kentucky. Josh Tyler plays a land, Kingen, passes the turn. Snapcaster Mage on Gutshot. Take out one of those Delvers. Stage. Michael will fall to 15. Does Tom have a mana leak or something to deal with? It doesn't look like it, so. That Delver that he fetched out of his well, deck he's box. He's certainly make giving. Uh... Michael, the Michael, illusion, the, yeah. The, yeah, the illusion that it might be there, it might be something he's considering mana leaking. Yeah, sort of next level play for Tom Martell here. Tom 
thinking about it. Wow. Just implanting in Michael's brain. I've got a memory. I've got a memory. But we know. But he doesn't. Is he going to do the tap to you on top? Wow. Fake counts. I love it. I love the, the Hollywooding here from Tom Martell. Okay. Yeah. Now you got it. <laughs> if you want it that badly, you can have it. Just watch out for what you play next, buddy. Ponder drawn off the top from Michael. Representing six damage here. Tom actually in a little bit of trouble. I think Tom has to trade here, right? As much as he doesn't want to. Trade that snapcaster mage? He really needs lingering yeah, he's souls. Not, he's not giving him the opportunity to trade. Yeah. Just take your four. Take your medicine. What does Michael play post-combat? Ponder, hoping to get his third land. There it is. He's got three lands on top. Does he want all three of them, though? Yeah. Likely, yeah. yeah he's... Plays the land right off the top of the deck, doesn't he? Yeah, there we go. Tom going to go to his turn. We know there's a man like uh, Michael Peterson's hand, we saw it. Mm -hmm. Revealed when Delver transformed. <laughs> Tom considering at the end of Michael's turn what he wants to do here. If he wants to play that Snapcaster Mage just to get another attacker. I'm not sure what's on the top of Tom's deck. He knows because he flashed back that ponder. But it looks like he will cast Snapcaster just to get an attacker in or another creature in. Looks on top. Yep, Lingering Souls on the top. Wow, the patience that Tom has here. Interesting. Does not have another land. No. So you can't cast Lingering Souls and flash it back. If he wants to play Lingering Souls here, it's going to be right into Michael's Mana Leak. And then Michael can go ahead and cast Rune Chanter's Pike and equip and deal a significant amount of damage. Two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. But oh, actually, Tom goes ahead and tries to cast Frog Skull Captain. Is that going to get Mana Leak? Yep. Mana Leak from Michael. With a land on top, he has the ability to untap, cast Rune Chanter's Pike, and equip it to Invisible Stalker. Also, he's got the Vapor Snag in his hand that he can use to return Insectile Aberration. Tom's Insectile Aberration oh to his God, hand. has not lost a match of magic this weekend. Is he about to do so here? Rune Chanter's Pike, equip. Invisible Stalker, get in there for four damage. Drop Tom down to six life. I believe it's six. Maybe I'm miscounting. Five life. Okay. Put you dead on board next turn. Tom draws Dungeon Geist. Is that going to do it? I guess he's got Divine Offering to get rid of the pike. Yep. Divine Offering to get rid of the pike before you can untap and draw Mana Leak. But we know... There's a Vapor Snag in Michael's hand, so you can Vapor Snag that Insectile Aberration. Attack in for four. Which is... Tom will go to six. From, yeah, Vapor Snag on the Insectile Aberration. He's going to take four here. Chooses not to equip. Tom goes to two. Geist to St. Craft is the last card in Michael's hand. I wonder if Michael's still afraid of that mana leak that Tom represented earlier in the game. He's thinking about it. Otherwise, he's got the ability to activate Mullen Hunt. He just passes the turn back. Tom draws Phantasmal Image. This time pull out of this. He needs like a bolt of the earth. He absolutely he needs to resolve his lingering souls. 
Because he's going to go to one this next turn. Right. Uh, he has to kind of, wants to double block. Insectile aberration. Insectile aberration. Can you draw a land this turn? Do we know? Oh, he drew Dungeon Geist. Yeah. He could cast Dungeon Geist, tapping down Insectile Aberration, holding back the blocker for Moreland Haunt, putting him back to one. And then where does he go from and there? And then how does he get out of that? Yeah. Vaulty the Archangel. Start life linking. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much his only... There's only one in his deck, right? Yeah. And I'm looking at Tom Martell's list. Timely reinforcements. Oh. So he's going to cast Lingering Souls. Likely cast Delver also. No counter magic from Michael. Makes him more than Hulk token. So Tom is really in chump mode here. Yeah. Surgical Extraction John for Peterson. I'll get in with my guys. Yeah. Tom has to block, chump, take one. Go to one. Peterson's going to cast Geist to St. Traft. I don't see how Tom can get out of this one. Transform Delver. Standard oh, open pairings. Are and that's it. Michael Peterson will you, advance to the players. finals to face off against Shahar Shanhar also, here at Grand Prix Salt Lake City. Next to Tom Martell. Losing his first match of the weekend. He went three buys, Very draw, quickly. draw, rattled off then 11 wins in a row and then before to falling match. to Michael Peterson. I want to stress three this seems to happen quickly wow. because there are a lot of other people who also need to use the and pairing like, board. He's pretty Once good. Again, pairing, the standings are up <laughs> for the open. It's a pretty sweet win. Please move through quickly. So Michael Pearson, Players Blue White Delver, you get Delver. Yeah, so please come yeah, to the yeah. stage. You know, no no Gitaxian probe. Uh, he's playing mutagenic growth. I think it's it's Gut almost shot. identical. You uh, four you thoughts now, four vapor snag. Yeah. Very close to it. <laughs> playing against Shahar Shanahar, a more equipment normal based Delver deck, but still Delver versus Delver in the finals. It's just what everyone at home wanted. It's what everyone. <laughs>